everybody, and welcome to Tuesdays with Thomas. It is a spinoff of the show Healthy. What, what is the name of my show? Chef AJ Live. It's my third show today. I'm getting a little punch drunk. But Tuesdays with Thomas is a feature that we've been doing every month featuring Thomas Allen from California Balsamic Vinegars, where he makes tasty, healthy, delicious, quick and easy recipes using his California Balsamic Vinegars. And today he's going to be using the fig vinegar. And the recipes are yeah. recipes that are submitted from the customers, which you can find on their website, CaliforniaBalsamic.com. But before I turn it over to Thomas, I just want to tell you that there is a new kid on the block and there is a new flavor, a long awaited flavor called seven herb Italian. And I predict that this is going to be the number one seller. And just because everybody that's tried it, their socks have been knocked off. Literally. If you ever, ever liked Italian dressing, this is the only dressing you'll ever need. It tastes like it has sugar, oil, and salt. I remember when I was a little kid, my mom used to make the good seasons and the, the cruet and put the vinegar and the water and the oil this is so much better. And what he did is he blended it with spices that came from Nick from local spicery. So it's got top-notch spices that have no irritation. They're organic, made in small batches. And I'm not even really that much into uh, Italian dressing, but I love this dressing so much so that I'm sorry, Curry, but you're now in second place. You can tell how much I love a vinegar by how full or empty the bottle is. I will still love you, Curry, and use you on my grain dishes, but this is going to be my go-to salad dressing from now on. And just to show you how versatile it is, I shot a video yesterday showing you seven ways to use it, seven recipes using the newest flavor of California balsamic, seven herb Italian. That video is being edited right now, and I put all my cooking videos, which is called Weight Loss Wednesday. They come out at 12, 15 a.m. on Wednesday. So subscribe to me on YouTube and then it'll come right to your inbox. So without further ado, please welcome Thomas Allen. Good afternoon, Chef. Hi, everybody from beautiful downtown Ukiah, California. They're the international world headquarters of the <laughs> California Balsamic. What a load of crap that is. <laughs> <laughs> but it's wonderful to uh, be able to uh, join everybody and uh, do a couple of really easy recipes. Today, uh, two recipes. I'm just going to explain the recipes because they take too long. You know, 15, 20 minutes for each recipe, that takes too long. So I'll just describe those two, and then we'll do uh, one recipe, some delicious nice cream at the end for dessert. So that'll be a lot of fun. Hey, you know what? Um, you do know what, but maybe these guys don't know what. So we decided yesterday when I was talking to Corey Geyer from the Holland Bowl Mill that we are going to have a special show the Sunday after Thanksgiving with all of my favorite small businesses. As you guys know, the, you know, I mean, the pandemic has affected everyone in different ways, but certain stores like Costco, which I love, they really weren't that effective. As a, man, as a matter of fact, they got probably even busier with no evidenced by the long lines. So we're going to take all the vendors that we love, the small businesses, and we're going to have like, a, what's it called? Like an exhibition when they're all like, we sort of had it at the ultimate weight loss conferences where they, there was a vendor room and they're all going to be on together and they're going to offer their holiday special. So mark your calendar right now for small business Sunday, the Sunday after Thanksgiving. And Thomas is now our second confirmed small, small vendor. Not, not that you're a small vendor. I mean, <laughs> you're not small, you're very tall, but <laughs> So we're going to, uh, it'll be like a virtual festival, uh, you know, with several of the different vendors. And Nick is such a good friend. I enjoy him so much. And thank you for sharing that uh, I'm using Nick's products uh, in the Italian dressing, uh, Italian balsamic. So far, the response has been absolutely overwhelmingly positive. So very excited. Can't wait. I'm going to be watching and taping your episode so I can learn how to use my own pods. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, to start with, the, uh, the first thing we've got on today's agenda is a, a recipe from a young lady named Christy Mason, and she made an Instapot red cabbage recipe. Pretty easy, uh, just takes a little while to make, obviously. Uh, she started off with, uh, got the open up the Instapot, she put in four tablespoons of water to start off. She sliced up um, one onion, sliced it pretty thin, and put that into the, into the Instapot. She used three to four tablespoons of our big balsamic and two pounds 
of red cabbage. Now, we made this yesterday and we cut the cabbage a little thicker than we actually wanted to. And so we we're gonna recommend cutting the cabbage pretty thin. And that worked out really, really well. That'll work out better. And the last ingredient on there is uh, enough pepper to taste. So all of this recipe and uh, the other two that are gonna to describe today, they're on the front page of our website. And uh, you'll see it on the left-hand side of the front page. It says Tuesday with Thomas recipe. And there's a link right to the recipe. So you'll see that when you go on there. So we'll do that every month, have the recipe linked right on the front page. So to start off, uh, she turned the saute setting on the Instapot and added the water. She added the sliced onions and let them water saute for a few minutes. Now, Ethel and I did that, left them in there a little too long, kind of charred them up a little bit. So we started over <laughs> and then did it right the second time. Uh, we then added the red onion to the pot and just cabbage. stirred it up, the cabbage. Uh, we read up the, added the red cabbage to it, the pot, stirred it up a little bit to combine the onions and the cabbage all together. And, uh, and then uh, finally, cancel the saute setting. Uh, your camera just oh. went away. Thomas, we, your camera, not only did his camera go away, he went away. Hopefully he'll come back because I'm not prepared to do a demo. Well, uh, it happens. So how you guys doing? Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed Dr. McDougall's PowerPoint today. And if you didn't, you'll watch it later. Let me just see if I can get Thomas on. I would imagine he knows that he's not on anymore, right? You are not here anymore. What would we do without, ah, thank goodness he's coming back. What would we do without voice to text, huh? Anyway, ah, I got my arm taped, you guys. It hurts so much. I got an injury. Uh, where do you buy the vinegar from? Catherine, you buy it at CaliforniaBalsamic.com and that's where you find the recipes. I'll tape it in. And if you mention my name, Chef AJ, in the leave us a message box, you get two free samples, but with your order. It's funny how so many people call him up for the two free samples, but they don't place an order. The minimum order would be $10. And he also offers flat rate shipping. Um, if this was a gift from the Zwiebens, Nary, Nary, Nancy and Barry, she's a runner and it says mile 26 sports. So I just wanted to keep the purple theme going, but the shirt I had earlier was, it maybe had, had wings. Is that yeah. really back? You are back. Uh, I can Wonderful. hear you, but I can't see you yet. Exactly. I don't okay, you know. Okay. We're, uh, we're, we're, Thomas, Ethel, our technical know. support is uh, fixing it. Uh, Where did you go? Right, right. I don't. And if you guys have any recipes, uh, you send them into Thomas and he'll feature it on, on the show. Tuesdays with Thomas is always the first Tuesday of every month at 1 p.m. You can fill Sorry, the time. <laughs> yeah, now we can see you and hear you. All oh, we're back again. That was another call, probably from Australia, you know, trying to order some products. Maybe not, but it's fun to think about. So all is good. And um, so... Back to the, the red cabbage. Um, after we canceled the, the saute setting for that, we uh, put the, took the pressure of the high pressure for five minutes uh, for the Instapot. And then after five minutes, uh, did a quick release after five more minutes. So we turned it off, waited for the button to pop down, and then did a quick release after five minutes. Once the pressure had released and dropped off, she took the lid off the top of the Instapot and added uh, about three to four tablespoons of the fig balsamic to the, the cabbage inside, gave it a good stir, and lo and behold, put out a wonderful little pot of, of the uh, cabbage here. And she says to use it as a side dish putting it over a uh, potato, greens, rice, whatever, uh, you know, you feel like on there. But we always add a little extra fig balsamic at the very end, just because we can. So uh -huh. just because see that you easily? Can. There we go. Wait, you, you, so, when, you're, when you're showing it in front of the camera, make sure you're talking. Okay, got it. All right, so um, that's the way it was out there with the fig balsamic and the red cabbage. If you can see that easily, that's how it looks. And we'll be taking, we have a big pot of that. We'll be taking it to the warehouse to share it with, uh, with the employees at work today and 
Chris and Angie, they're saying, bring me some red cabbage. I want it for lunch. So Chris and Angie, it'll be there in 15 minutes. Thank you very much. Okay. So that was the, uh, the cabbage. That was really easy, and we like that one. Now, the next one is a little more intricate. It's a, a recipe from Rita, and she made a figgy oat bar. And um, so we started off with that one. In a cup of uh, boiling water, we soaked a six ounce package of organic dried figs and 10 pitted dates. Soak those in a bowl for 10 minutes with the uh, boiling water. Now the crust, uh, mix the dry ingredients in a bowl and the dry ingredients were one cup of rolled oats, another half a cup of rolled oats flour, which we made in Vitamix, so that was quick and easy, and a half a cup of chopped slivered almonds and put all those into a bowl. Now in another bowl, we put in uh, four tablespoons of flaxseed meal in a half a cup of water. And then we added one tablespoon of vanilla and one teaspoon of fig balsamic to the same bowl with the flaxseed meal. So that was just off to the side. And now in the food processor, we put in four of the soaked dates and two of the soaked figs and four tablespoons of the fig date water uh, that they were soaking in. And then we put all of that into the food processor and blended it up there and made it into a mush. And then we add to the mix the dried ingredients of the oats, the oat flour, and the almonds and blended that. And that turned into the uh, Cuisinart, uh, blended that up. And that was the crumbled topping. Now we, we kept one half a cup of that topping in a little half cup, put it to the side. That's going to be a little bit of crumble for the end of it. Uh, all right. And then finally, you press that mixture that you just took out of the Cuisinart into an eight by eight uh, pan or a round Teflon pan. So that's how that mixture goes in there. Now the filling uh, is going to go into the food processor. You put the remaining dates and figs with four tablespoons of the fig date water, a teaspoon each of vanilla and fig balsamic, and blend the daylights out of it. That turned into a wonderful mash. And then that mash is gonna be spread right over the top of the crust that you had in your pan. And once all that is done, uh, take that one half cup of the filling that you've kept to the side and put that crumbled right over the top of all the, of the whole thing. Pop it in the oven for uh, 20 to 25 minutes at 350. Let it stand for a few minutes after that. Now the filling that's on top is gonna be sticky and gooey, and that's wonderful, because we really liked it. And this is, these are four of the bars that we finished with, and I have to say, this is killer delicious. The first batch we made was a little dry, uh, and the second batch we made was much, much stickier and chewy. And uh, once it's refrigerated, the setting of the bottom of it uh, really got much firmer, and I liked it a lot. So these are just kind of like, you know, really healthy fig newtons. So that's that one, and, and we're going to make that constantly because the, the guys at work really like that one as well. So which they love Did Tuesdays you, with Thomas broadcast because of all the videos. So, they so get. are these, are these regular guess. customers or are these people that I know? Well, because that is, the that, four, these are the four employees that are at our office. No, but I mean, the people that made the recipes, are they people that, oh. that know me? Because these are like really healthy SOS free recipes. Oh yes. They're all our customers. And so every month we're asking people, you know, for the following month's broadcast, send us recipes for it and send them to recipes at CaliforniaBalsamic.com. Uh, both Rita and Megan and Christy, all three of these people will be sending them two eight ounce bottles of whatever balsamic they want as a thank you for their recipes. So uh, we probably got in five or six recipes for this one, but these are the three we decided to air uh, for today. And eventually when we get our new website, 
eventually. Um, we'll have a, uh, a brand new recipe page. There'll be a social media page where we're going to have these episodes and some of your episodes, like your coleslaw recipe and several others, when we get a brand new website, which should be today or even tomorrow, uh, we'll be having a brand new website. So that's very exciting. <clears throat> Okie dokie. So now the, um, we just did the figgy yolk bar. Okay, that's some of that. Now, last month we had, uh, we're continuing our little story, uh, you know, of, uh, of, of my background. And um, no photos this time of us with choir robes on. But uh, when we were, when I was growing up, Music was always the, the main focus, you know, at home. And finally, when I got into high school, uh, the choral groups uh, that we were, that I joined for church and school, they, got, they loved to travel. And so our choral group traveled to Europe twice uh, when I was in high school, primarily going to uh, France, Germany, um, and Switzerland. And the cathedrals and churches, uh, I wish that I could go back and sing it in, them, in them again because they're absolutely, the acoustics of these uh, cathedrals is phenomenal. And I would love to be in a group again and go back and sing in some of these uh, cathedrals because that's what I remember more than anything else was the beautiful acoustics of the, uh, of the cathedrals. And... Uh, and we will continue to do that, uh, you know, in my mind, as soon as we can start traveling again. But I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. But already. So if you scream out any questions that you might come in, Chef, because that's easy to do. Well, I'd like to hear you sing personally, because ah. I, I heard you used to be a singing telegram delivery. Yeah, that's my, that's next month. Uh, actually, a friend of mine from back in Birmingham, Michigan, actually sent me a couple of photographs that he took as uh, like a headshot uh, of that. And I found the photo the other day, and I'll show that next month of one of my singing telegram outfits. That's uh, kind of cute, but uh, that's for another show. All right. So the last one to do today is uh, Megan, and uh, she developed a really easy uh, nice cream uh, recipe with banana and figs. So we're gonna we're gonna chop up our two bananas and a little bit of chopped up uh, dates are already done here. Figs. Figs, sorry, sorry. And we're gonna put these in, uh, do smaller things. The last time we made this, we had the chunks a little too big and the Vitamix, um, it didn't blend very easily. So now we'll just chop these up in a little bit smaller pieces and hopefully that will blend up a little bit easier and uh, use, of course, our fig balsamic in there. We're going to take this to the warehouse and share with the uh, with Patrick there because he was chosen to try this. He was skeptical, so we're going to turn him into an ice cream lover, and that's going to be super easy. This is my new favorite dessert. And if Mama Honey likes it, we're going to make this every week. So we're making it today with figs, but I also think this would be quite delicious with dates. As you know, the chef that had these out by you does that uh, banana date shake. So this is what I'm going to try to make with bananas and dates also. Chef, have you been to Hadley's? I have been to Hadley's, but they don't have one that is non-dairy. So we got exactly. our date, a date shake at another place. And so that eventually, because they were $9.95, we figured out the recipe and I have it on my YouTube page. Ooh. There you are. You rock, young lady. All is good. So one teaspoon. And then with the uh, figs and banana, teaspoon of our friendly fig balsamic. There we are. If I was not on camera, I would lick this, but I am, so I will not. 
And here we go. To answer your question, yes, the newest flavor, Seven Herb Italian is out now. And if you are subscribed to me on YouTube, you'll get a video with seven recipes, new recipes, how to use them. And the recipes for what Thomas is making today is on the website, californiabalsamic.com. And you guys can submit recipes to him and then win or receive, if he uses it, two free bottles and flavor of your choice. Sounds like he's underwater when he does it. Um, Chef, I'm gonna add a little bit too much in here. I might add just a little bit of almond milk to this. Yeah. So shake the daylights out of it because we can try one more time. Much. We'll just put a little bit of almond milk in that. Oh, but it smells good. It's right in the door. Right in the door. Here? No, the brown. What is the attachment you're using? Susan asks. The attachment here is. This is just a, 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 a single serving uh, for the Vitamix. It just it makes a wonderful little single serving. It's insulated and screws right onto this part. And this one here just pops right onto the Vitamix. And voila. Mm. Live productions, always exciting. You never know what you're going to get. So one thing that we found is the figs are so hard when they're frozen to grind up. More. <laughs> And two hours later, it's ready to go. Come on there. This was called a banana fig shake. <laughs> Must have had some bartending experience the way you shake. I was actually a bartender in college at the um, Elks Lodge, BPOE number 60 in Kalamazoo, Michigan. There we are, voila, 20 minutes later, we have our nice cream here. Voila. And that's how it's supposed to come out, nice and creamy here. And we'll take a picture of that, put it on our, our we'll take a picture of this, put it on our site drizzle a little killer balsamic on there. And that's it, quick and easy. I have an idea, why not put the ice cream on the bar? Oh, <laughs> absolutely good idea. Oh, I'll be having that for dessert tonight for can't, sure. Can't deny that. So let's take a, a little bar. Cut a little piece of that. And I'm gonna take a little bit out of here because that's such a pretty picture there. We'll put a little bit right on there. Oh, chef, that's why you're a chef. <laughs> All right, take a 
of that dollar, put it in there like so. And voila. That's even better. I'm going to highly recommend that. Good, good, good. So, next month, the flavor of the month is uh, smoked hickory, one of chef's favorites. Send us any recipe that you might have using the smoked hickory balsamic. You can send it, uh, we prefer it if you send it to recipes at californiabalsamic.com. Um, uh, you can send it to orders as well to our normal website, but uh, we prefer it to recipes. And this month, for the entire month of August 2020, uh, we have a special right on the front page. Uh, we do this every year for the whole month of August. If you're getting any three large bottles of 8-ounce or 12-ounce, not only do we put in the two Chef AJ little freebies, we add two $10 travel bottles to that as well. So... August is always a crazy popular month because uh, normally it was re really slow with no, not very many festivals. So we always did a special in August just because it was so quiet. And now August is jumping busy because of that special. So that'll be on the front page of the website. Get For every three bottles, eight or 12 ounce, you get two uh, $10 freebies. And at the very end, you ask for the always ask, tell us what you want for your free ones on the leave us a message spot on the uh, checkout page to the right of where you'll type in your name. But when we get our new website going oh, in the next uh, couple of days, it's gonna be called order notes and it's gonna be at the very bottom of the checkout just before the credit card, where most companies have their uh, order notes box. That's where we'll have ours as well at the very end. So that's, that's really easy to do. So. Radhika says, do you ever use stir fries using balsamic instead of oil? And if you just please check my YouTube page, I have several videos. That's exactly how Thomas and I met was because of his teriyaki vinegar. I couldn't believe it was SOS free. And I believe I made a pineapple stir fry or unfried rice. So absolutely. So any, any news on the conversation with Dr. Goldhammer? Have you worked on making that dream a reality? Um, we're still working on finding a balsamic with uh, 15 calories or less. Um, I actually was, uh, I got a call from someone who had some vinegar. Now he was calling it balsamic vinegar, but he was making it in California. And I'm saying, that's not balsamic vinegar. It's just vinegar. Only uh, vinegar from Modena, Italy can be called balsamic vinegar. But uh, I told him to send me a sample of it and let's find out what the calorie count is. Because if the calorie count is low enough, then we might consider using it uh, for Dr. Goldhammer. But it's going to take a little while to find a supplier of vinegar that is uh, 15 calories or less and hopefully no more than four or five carbs. So we shall see. You went away again, Thomas. I oh, can only I'm hear you. I can only, well, there he goes. It's about time anyway, guys. This is the third show of the day. So I'm a bit tired, but thank you guys so much for being here. And please come back tomorrow because if you like sushi, Kathy Hester, one of the most talented plant-based chefs is going to be doing a vegan sushi class. And you know, the California balsamics like the teriyaki would be the perfect dipping sauce for sushi. So put your thinking caps on and create some recipes using the smoked balsamic for next month's show for Thomas. And remember, if he chooses your recipe, you get two free bottles. Thanks so much. And I hope to see you